Türk Oyun Filmi Keyfinden herkese merhaba. Ben Kaan. İyi seyirler dilerim. Steph, uh, Gingrich, is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts, lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Yeah, totally. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Being Gabe? Right. <sighs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... You know, take some time to breathe. This seems like a place I can just enjoy being on my own. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Okay, the manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. Are you the Haven High mascot? Great, here's the list. Introduce myself on air? Huh. Let's give this a shot. Your new DJ at KRCT, live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, maybe more in the future. We've got some great music coming up for you, so uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music, so next up. Check out the playlist. Sorry, computer DJ. <laughs> it's my turn now. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here too? Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche ice cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is going to blow your freaking mind. You think I'm kidding? These guys have, and I hope you're sitting down, crab rangoon flavored ice cream. Just saying. So come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Sunny and Angela Avalanche, explorers of the uncharted reaches of ice cream experience. Ooh, 
I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Steph Gingrich, this is your life. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. How do you introduce yourself to someone named Bubbles? There's probably work for me to do in the store as well. I think there was a note for me on the front counter. So, if I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. As for music, I can at least start it by updating the new releases. And, yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? It's throwback time. Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. My first call. Better go answer it. Hello? You're on KRCT Radio and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh, no. Could I just give you my order and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah. Why not? Sweet. All right. Uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. Oh, boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these for? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I 
don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay, look. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah, you lost me there. <sighs> Alright dude, listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. All my old GM stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh, it just needs some screws. Is there an animal in there? Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. RCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. You know what? For the sake of filling some airtime, sure. I'm a psychic. I foretell shit. That's so cool. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU, but then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Okay, just give me a second. Damn, how do I tell this girl's future? All right, what am I going to tell this girl? 18, huh? That's a strong role. So, what's my prediction? Okay. I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay. It's tough at first. No one likes long distance relationships. <sighs> but 
then you and Tara discover something that keeps you connected. The wonderful world of online gaming. Like Mario? I don't really play video games. That's why you dip your toe in slowly. Maybe a board game, something retro. But before long, you and Tara are teaming up to pwn noobs, grind gear, and wreck even the toughest raids. I don't know what that means, but if it's with Tara, I'm sure it'll be fun. All right. That's all I got. Uh, hope it helped. I'm not sure, but it was really fun. Thanks. Rough first day, huh? Listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me answering your calls in just a few minutes.
Hmm, what kind of opener do I want to use? The great and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs, died and come back to life who knows how many times. Twelve. But through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Friendship. The love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. Oh. 
Carry on. That's not... Wait, wait. There, see? Not a raccoon. destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record, if anyone still cares. I'll catch up with you eventually, Jen. Anyway... I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Need to make sure I've read all three ads today. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. I'm having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. Dang. Big moment. Are your knees weak? Palms sweaty? I feel like I'm about to throw up. Yes. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. Oof. Three? That's really not great. All right, moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 predicts disaster. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay. Sorry to say, I don't see it going great. Not going great how? Surprise, surprise. Politics comes up. You manage to nip the conversation before it gets too far, but the mood is ruined. Ugh. They all said they'd be cool. What matters is the girl you're seeing is really cool about it. <laughs> you still really like her, and she still really likes you. I'm just... I'm tired of who I am making everything harder, you know? Yeah, I know. And I'm sorry for that. But being with her is worth all the trouble, right? God, so worth it. Okay, I can do this. Thanks, Seth. Good luck. Thanks for calling. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it The Dateless Dating Advisor. Ugh. <sighs> You're on with Steph. What can I tell you? Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst roommate. That's a bold claim. Are you ready to back it up? I'm afraid so. Everything he does is loud. His music, his phone calls. He even keeps the little click noises on when he texts, which is every second. And the smells. I think he thinks that the vape masks the fact that he doesn't shower or clean anything. But it's just like strawberry B.O. 
Uh, okay. I get the picture. So, why are you calling? So, I've been planning to have, like, a house meeting, lay out all the cards, see if there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out. You are the psychic. Okay, give me a sec. Sixteen's a strong roll. Home not feeling like home. That's a rough one. So can a house meeting really turn it around? Sixteen is a strong dice check. I have seen into the blurry future. And? The house meeting doesn't go great. He only half listens to you and keeps texting the whole time. Click, clack, click, clack. A week later, you reach your breaking point. You hear him and the girl he brought home going at it all night long for the third time that week. Gross. Yep. From then on, it's full on sonic warfare. Until one of you moves out, of course. But my powers only see so far. Got it. Guess I'll buy those noise-canceling headphones. Thanks for the heads up. It's what I do. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. Guess it needs a hook, but what kind? Maybe like a really poppy hook, something that makes you want to dance. Which means every pride decoration must come down. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding 
or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Word. All right, signs are dry. Let's go. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Fried, Seattle. Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever, literally ever. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on, it's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Guess that's everything. But the flag on the front door. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Genderqueer pride? Bi pride? Pan pride? Lesbian pride? Uh, bear pride, I think? I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. Just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. Steph, you know you can talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about... It's just... You haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know? Citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. But first,
But first, another track. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right. Um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three-week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Got any tips for staying mentally healthy inside a tiny little booth? Asking for a friend. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to, like, level 10. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune-telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Well, it's the natural endpoint of my current trajectory. And I guess if I'm going to end up there, I want it to at least be on purpose. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into. But I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. Yeah, I know all about that. I thought you might. So I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. You're on with Steph. Ah!
Thanks for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Hey. Hi. I've, um, this is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. Hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Just tell me what's on your mind. Right. Uh, thanks. Well, I played on my high school soccer team last year, since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16. And this girl on the team is just, I don't know, the worst. Like, I know I'm awkward sometimes. I'm not like a cool girl, but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I want to stand up for myself, but will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? That legitimately sucks. Let me see what I can see. Boom, 16. Bullies are the worst, especially when they ruin something you love. What do I tell her? She rolled pretty high. All right, ready to hear your future? Yeah, what is it? You keep your head down, and at first, it feels like nothing's changed. She keeps at it, torturing you whenever she gets the chance. But one day, she goes too far. One stupid prank too many, one insult over the line, and you snap. You get right up in her face and say, try something like that again and I will ruin you. Oh, damn. You half expect the rest of the team to take her side, but nope. Everybody is in absolute awe. Things don't become totally amazing right away, but by the end of the season, you and your teammates are thick as thieves, and Miss Mean Girl is out in the cold. Turns out, nobody likes an asshole, and they were all just waiting for permission to stop pretending. I mean, yeah, it sounds good, but it's just a nice story. Well, if it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah. Middle school, high school, I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense weird and they get their claws out. But if you figure out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. For me, it was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a badass. Trust me. Thanks, Steph. That does help. A lot. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. Found it. I am so not having this right now. Last chore, just get it done. Mom? The whole town is rubble. It'll hit our house soon. I'm taking shelter, but I love you, okay? Mom!
We playing or not? Shh, well is this coming? Penis! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Everything okay? Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And now? I feel so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. Even the people I didn't like, I didn't have to be so, I don't know, judgmental, I guess. Just because they're gone now doesn't change who they were. You really think you did anything wrong? <laughs> I didn't do anything right. You ever talk to Chloe? No, I hear she's off the radar like me. <laughs> the two wandering weirdos. Look, Steph. What you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on. Let's keep playing. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. Fuck! Water seeping in. Roll for perception. This storm is is biblical. Why hasn't Drew called back yet? Anything from your mom? She'll be fine. My house is safe. You know what isn't, though? <laughs> Your position. You're surrounded by enchanted skeletons, and your HP is fucked. Now roll. Fuck. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah. No. I don't know. How do you deal with the thoughts that won't go away? What do you mean? You know... about Drew... at the end? Oh, like picturing my brother being crushed to death by cinder blocks. Wondering if it hurt? If he had any last thoughts? I guess I just accept them now. It's like a song that gets stuck in your head. It's there whether you like it or not, so might as well sing along. I've watched my mom die a thousand times in my mind, running into the basement, grabbing her rosary beads, screaming in fear. It's always a little different each time. The differences are the fucking worst. But... Maybe talking about it helps. Yeah. Maybe. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. Where are my notes? I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... 
Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking, why don't you come? It'll be, well, you know, it'll be fucking horrible, but maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you, again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. But you didn't. Why? Why do you think? Because I'm such a car wreck of a person, you can't look away even if you want to. Is that really what you think? Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you if it makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a wandering weirdo is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. <laughs> now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. <laughs> he is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky. <sighs> okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say, though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly. I might do this every year. Hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. So, what are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Great, let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant, I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. 
All right. What's on your mind? There's... someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Why didn't you? <laughs> because I didn't have anything to offer her. That's been my excuse for ages. <sighs> no, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask. What's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, don't ruin it. Okay. Give me a second. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? What would be super good for Gabe? The day you call her, you're a ball of nerves. You get the number wrong four times. And when she finally picks up and says, hello, you clam up. Total silence. Except for your obvious breathing. What? She blocks your number. You have to call back on a landline. But hearing her voice changed everything. Suddenly the most important thing in the world is making sure she's okay. Now you're on a mission and your own fears don't matter anymore. You're too busy sending her jokes and making time to hear about the worst part of her day. You're still afraid you'll screw things up. And you do, a lot. But underneath, there's a sense of security because now you're driven by a purpose that will always steer you back to her, no matter what happens. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. What could fit under the front door? Maybe concert tickets? A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. Hey, hey, you're on with Steph. Hello, Stephanie. Is this Ducky? Indeed it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. <laughs> I'm seriously flattered. 
I'm inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. You made a death bet with someone? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. It's a common arrangement, although it's <laughs> admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. How many of you are left? Three. Uh, plus me equals four. For now. I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. Four. Sorry, Ducky. Or... yay? So... Ducky's Tontine. Ducky? I'm back. Prognosticate away. Happily, or sadly, your friends all continue to live this year. So you don't win your tontine. You're certain? They're really old. I mean, I guess you could still go and kill them? Go all John Wick or whatever? I would never dream of it. As a gentleman and a friend, also, murder voids the terms of the Tontine. Seems like a smart thing to put into the contract. But thinking about your friend's death so much causes you to remember why you were friends with them in the first place. You decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally Tontine-free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in friendship. Thanks for calling, Ducky. Okay, Ryan's talking about some kind of light. Huh, Shar. Okay, that clue's in here somewhere. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to... Win one of the raffle prizes donated by local artisans. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers... Okay, well, it says here they offer dink specials. So, head there on Thursdays to score a discount dink. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer-scented heart of Haven Springs. <phone rings> Happy New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay, it's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Grandma gifts rule. They pull out all the stops. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm calling. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and Grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? 
I will consult the cosmos. A 12 doesn't tell me much. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You keep the camera, even though it hurts your insides thinking about how much Grandma paid. Uh... And since the gear's taking up half your bedroom anyway, you start putting it to good use. You start a video blog and kick it off by interviewing the person who made it all possible. Grandma would actually love that. She tells you all about her childhood, which is already interesting enough. But it's her sweet demeanor yet shockingly salty language that makes it go viral. Soon, you forget all about the pressure you put on yourself to be a filmmaker. And you just have fun making stuff. And you start to think... Maybe Grandma knew exactly what she was doing when she bought it for you. Duh, of course. Right. I've just gotta use it. Thanks for helping me see that. It's what I do. I was afraid this would happen. Well, not then this. But something unknown As my spring colors were blackening Couldn't you see That I had to go It's a long way to travel It cuts through the mountains Arcadia abdicates It's hold over me so the first step to catch the path should be in company Me, I'm with you Yeah, you, you're with me My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song Maybe I should share it with someone Hey, KRCT listeners, got a special treat for you. Here's a world premiere by a talented up and comer who might just be finally getting her shit together. Let me know what you think. The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. Holy shit, this is rad. You wonderful bunch of absolute geeks. All right, I think it's about time to crack open that champagne. Okay, Jed, what have you hooked me up with? Close enough. Happy New Year, Valkyrie! Wherever you are.
Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. <sighs> it's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val let me pet her the other day, and then she bit me more gently than usual. We're definitely getting somewhere. All right, here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think.